how are you all keeping? I hope you're well, guys. Welcome to Dorothy's uh, Cooking Garden. So today, guys, I welcome you to my kitchen. And I just wanted to share with you how I cook uh, one of the most famous meal in East Africa. And I'm from Kenya, and we love to eat it, and it's called ugali. So guys, ugali is made with uh, maize meal. So, okay, so white maize meal and uh, we eat it with different accompaniments. You can eat it with beef or with chicken, lamb, whatever meat of your choice. And also greens, we love greens with ugali. So guys, today here, this is the maize meal flour. And so I, I want to just be cook, uh, cooking it, you guys, so that I can teach you how to cook ugali. And we have greens, so we have the spring greens here. Okay, okay. these are the spring greens. I have already chopped them just to, so that the video can be a bit faster. And then we have the kale. So in Kenya, where I come from, we use uh, greens and we call them sukumawiki. Maybe they're the spring uh, greens, I do not know, but they look similar. Okay, and then I have my tomato on vines here. I have one red pepper. Of course, I'm going to use this because it is a leftover. And I have three uh, red tomatoes. I like my, my food a little bit hot, so we have the little uh, Kenyan chilies. And then, of course, we're going to be using beef tonight and this beef as you can see it is bone beef so it's beef on the bone because it makes lively stews all right guys so that's the introduction to the, for my um my ingredients so welcome if you like this cooking let me know in the comments if you would like to try let me know what you think it is lovely 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 but it's accompanied with greens sometimes you can just eat it with greens if you do not have meat. You don't have to have meat. It's not every time that we have to eat meat. So I love it quick with greens. And if you have meat, wow, it's an extra, okay? All right, guys, if you like my channel, then don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to comment. Welcome to my kitchen. So guys, what I'm doing here, I'm just boiling water so that I can boil just very quickly this greens, uh, spring greens because Apparently at this season they are a bit dry and so I realized I noticed that if I do not boil the green sometimes they can taste a bit funny So I'm not going to like over boil. It's just like a uh, two minutes of boiling Just to soften them a little bit because they're not fresh <laughs> Of course, these are store bought vegetables and we just have to eat what we have I'm not going to boil them for long just a little bit to soften them and I'm going to switch it off and I'm going to remove the excess water You can steam them for about two minutes and then in the meantime I'm going to start preparing a beef stew so much spices but I do put one beef cube and two maggies just for the flavor and salt that is for my beef but for the vegetables I'm just going to use onions and vegetables now while these onions are cooking here guys you remember the, the vegetables this is the vegetables. You can see I've just put them a little bit. So what I'm going to do is to drain the water. So I'm just going to drain the water and then so they stop cooking more. Guys, we do not want to pour the nutrients away. So I'm going to sieve this water in a bowl. And guys, this is what we have. Some nice green water so we have not wasted the, the juices. And we're going to put that in the meat when we're cooking the meat. So while the onions are becoming... A little bit golden brown, I'm going to put the onions with the red pepper. For time's sake. A little sauce with these uh, spices. One maggie cube. Two maggie cubes and one beef cube. I 
all the greens I'm going to put in with the meat and I'm going to cover that to cook Just gonna switch that off. Now, what we are left to cook is ugali, guys. And so I'm going to show you how I'm going to be cooking ugali. We have to boil the uh, water that we cook ugali with. We really have to bring it to boil. Please do not make a mistake of cooking ugali with water that is uh, not boiled, because the the flour normally cooks with very hot water. So it's a pro procedure that doesn't, that doesn't take very long, but you need the water really boiling and you need to be careful so you don't burn yourself. So yeah, with a little practice, you can do it. As I'm, now you can see the water is boiling. That's how you need your water to be boiling um, for, the, for the ugali. So I always like to divide a little bit because I'm not going to cook all this ugali, but if in case I need to add water, I can always do. And so this is my cooking um, wooden spoon. And uh, this is my flour. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the flour just here, top of that pot, all right? Just to steady it. Do I put anything here? No. I'm going to keep it here so that I can be able now to pour my flour because I need to pour my flour when I'm cooking very quickly. So I'm beginning to pour my flour slowly because I don't like lamps. So I'm going to just be and this at this time the water splatters and so you have to be careful and be very fast it's a technique guys because if it splatters on you it's going to burn you yes yes it can burn so you have to be very careful and you have to just slowly by slowly being gentle because the the heat is is hot now and it's getting hot and the water is kind of sparkling everywhere so that's how i do it so guys remember i said that i do not like hard ugali so that's how you can see my ugali looks like kind of it's like orange, but that's me. I do not like hard ugali. I prefer just putting and cooking it for quite some time. And if I need to add flour, you know, as I go by, I can actually pass for me the flour. Right Thank you for watching. Bye.